want to find out what's going on in your community? El Observador is San Jose's bilingual weekly newspaper. Go to your local newsstand and pick up your free copy today. Looking for the skills and training you need to get a new career? Call CTC, the Center for Training and Careers, and start working towards that new career today. Call CTC in San Jose. Good evening. I'm Siwa Bili Rose Amador, and this is Native Voice TV. Welcome to the show. Today we have some very special guests with us, my good friend Richard Winfeathers. Welcome, Richard. Thank you, Rose. Thank you. And Eagle Many Hats Levy. Welcome. Thank you. Now, let, tell me what KIA is. We hear a lot about uh, the MIA and other terms when it comes to, the, uh, I guess, memorializing our veterans, but what is KIA? KIA started with the uh, co-founder James Ortolani at Arlington Cemetery when he saw the POW mm -hmm. MIA flag flying and the sun was going down. And he went up and, and tried to take the flag down because the flag was misrepresenting our prisoners of war. They are not dead. They're alive. We just have to find them, bring them home. So he formulated the idea to begin with the KIA, Killed in Action, a flag that represents and honors and remembers our soldiers that have lost their lives in, in combat for our country. And Af so this flag has been around for a while. Yes, it has. It started about 2006. Oh, well, really getting really a, a, a foothold in the door. Before that, it was just uh, finding people that would uh, help us because it costs money to make flags. It Absolutely. costs money to create them. And he had a hard struggle. He probably went in the hole $25,000 before he ever got it out the door. And now then he you, called me. you created one for Native Americans? Yes. He contacted me at the uh, American National American Legion conference in Salt Lake City and chased me around for a day and I kept I didn't want anything to do with him he was he's a fanatic about KIA mm -hmm. but he wanted a flag that represented Native Americans because he didn't feel the KIA flag was representing our spiritual ways and our journey as warriors mm -hmm. when we walked the red road so he gave that burden to me and what did you do at that point I became frustrated and upset just like he did, is, is what it boiled down to because I had to contact a lot of our uh, Pacific Northwest and Southwestern uh, Native Americans and ask them, what can I put on this flag that, or make our own flag that will benefit us mm -hmm. and give us a feeling for this flag? No one could really tell me for sure. I give all the credit for Forming the flag when it finally came to me was Mike Nopa of the Mojave tribe on the Colorado River. He made what I told him to do was I wanted the medicine wheel and the eagle feathers, two of them, to represent our warriors. Mm -hmm. And he drew it up and made it for me and presented it to me, and I loved it. Now, where do you live? I live in Kingman, Arizona, and my tribe lives on the Colorado River about 60 miles away from me. And which tribe is that? Tell the us the Chimawavy. We are the people who play with fishes. Oh, okay. The Mojave saw us out on the water before they dammed up all the water, and we were out uh, maybe waist high and reach another water with a basket and petting the fish and throwing them in the basket. The Mojave said they're out there playing with fishes. So that became our name, the people uh -huh. who play with fishes. Uh, okay. Fish people. Mm -hmm. fish if I could add, Rose, that you know, throughout, as Eagle has indicated, with the Native Americans uh, killed in action, we have also done the research to know that the Native Americans lead this nation and those who serve this country. We have documented, and it has been documented through many of the organizations, like the American Legion, VFW, over 210,000 Native Americans have proudly served this nation. So we are the leading ethnic group in this nation in serving our country. 
That's that's what I had heard. The largest group per capita mm -hmm. that's been represented. Uh, what branch of the military were you both in? United States Army. Okay. United States Navy. And now, Richard, I've seen you. That's where I first saw the the uh, emblem and carrying the flag, and mm -hmm. and you're wearing very similar types of uh, outfits. So tell me about what your involvement has been. Well, we 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 started with the actual San Joaquin Native Vets Lodge, okay, and as a color guard, and uh, so we would do various powwows and the vets programs, and so we wanted to be a Native American color guard and carrying our flags proudly as servicemen mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and certainly we tried to allow people to know that once we are in the military we're, we're, we live that way the rest of our lives we'll always be war fighters so we decided that's what we want to do and about a year ago i ran into james uh, uh met james and uh it was at uh, moss landing mm -hmm. and he said hey i need somebody to start talking about the native american veterans so I got into involved with James and listened to him that day uh, speak to me. And as Ego knows, he can really talk. By the time I knew it, by the end of the day, I was walking, uh, you know, and breathing this, uh, you know, uh, America remembers our fallen heroes for the Native mm -hmm. Americans. So I, I came on board as a spirit warrior uh, and to help out, you know, spread the, the uh, same campaign to say that we need to honor those who, mm -hmm. who have laid their lives on the line. These, uh, th this is very important because it, it is about the freedom that we have and those who have laid their lives on the line. We, we need to know that. We need to let people know that. Absolutely. That it's, uh, it's very important. Our freedom is here. We, we have it. But people have died on the front line for it. And it's not just the men, it's also the women. So we honor that, and so you know, I came on board a year ago, and so it's been uh, you know, a tree I fall under eagle as uh, one arrow here in uh, the northern region here in California. Now, what is the goal to have different um, chapters, have different organizations, or how are you getting the word out? I I'm doing it by word of mouth and by the reputation and the character of other natives mm -hmm. that are able to stand up, speak proudly, and be their own person and not be drug along into a mainstream, but able to stand up and say, we're not forgetting our Native Americans. One of the things that I have found is when I got out of the service, I was done. I didn't want to talk about it. I, I wasn't interested in it. I, I don't even ask me if I was a veteran because I didn't want to talk about nothing. I was done with it. I was like, it's over. Uh -huh. And then I, the more I got involved with the Native American KI, I found out that no one knows of our Native American killed in action because nobody's talking about it. And when I started bringing the flag to reservations and telling the members of the tribe what this was about, what the Native American uh, a flag was about, they said, well, I had an uncle that was killed in action. I had a, a, a father that was killed in action. And they were just so open to talk to me and they would accept that flag so willingly mm -hmm. that something was finally given to them that honored them. Nothing else, just them and their family. And every flag we get, we lay out on a table and the flag is signed. Could I get you all to bring in those flags? Yeah, let's do that. Let's, I'd uh, like to explain the flag to you, uh -huh. if I may, yeah. a second of time. Let's introduce uh, uh, and bring on uh, our ambassador messenger of our KIA spirit warrior, David Romero. And also let's bring on our uh, staff, guardian of the staff for the KIA spirit warrior, Mike Trujillo. Glad oh, your brothers are with us. Thank you guys you. for joining yeah. us. I really appreciate that. Of course, we know Sipat Singh David Romero from Native Voice TV. He's That's our correct. photographer. Oh. He's a great inspiration for us. Let me explain this to you. This line here represents those that were killed in action. This soldier here, he later died of wounds because of the action he was involved in. This is all sacred land in here. The only one who can sign in the center is a gold star mother that lost her son or her daughter. All around this flag, I place these on tables and I ask all veterans 
widows, someone who has lost someone very dear to them, to sign this flag and to say whatever they want to say. This is their flag. This flag does not belong to me. It does not belong to David, to Mike, or Rick. It doesn't belong to us. We are messengers, spirit warrior messengers, that give this flag to our veterans that have lost someone dear to them. That's what this is all about. We don't ask for money for these flags. We give them willingly, as we have spoke today here with one of your own staff that lost an uncle. We're going to make sure that he receives the Native American KI flag signed by veterans this weekend at Moss Landing, California. Now tell me what's going on this weekend at Moss Landing. Go ahead, Rick. I just well, talked a lot. Okay, well, listen. Well, uh, before we go into that, so let me get some clarification. This is the original flag, yes, and then this one is the Native American one because it has the, the, the medicine, medicine wheel and, and the and eagle the, feathers. The eagle feathers on right. both sides. Right. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. I love these flags. I, I, they oh. just have a very dear place in my heart. I have presented many of these flags, KIA, a Native American KIA, to families. And every time I give this flag away, it brings tears to my eyes and lumps my throat, and it shows me I'm really human. We all are when it comes to those we've lost. And both of these gentlemen march in the um, color guard? Mm-hmm. You bet. Wonderful. Thank you. All right. We're proud to have them with us. Yes, thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, at Moss Landing each year, uh, we are using this as our annual year to get together. Uh, Jim Gilbertson uh, uh, is uh, the actual owner of Eagle Emblems, and it's off of uh, Highway 1 there at Moss Landing. So he gets together with all the veterans and they come and, and we present a program there for all our veterans to come and relax, socialize, and just uh, be able to share their stories uh, you know, with each other. And of course, as Eagle said, we have our flags out there for people to come and sign. Mm -hmm. uh, we are, again, you know, parallel with the Gold Star family, so uh, they do have the guest speakers. Some of them are Gold Star family members who come out and speak. Uh, share their testimony, share their, their loved ones with us, uh, local uh, congressmen, and sometimes even the mayor comes out and oh, speaks. Wow. So, you know, it's a great program, and Jim is uh, using this as an annual uh, for our veterans. So we're looking forward to it. This will be our second year there, and uh, uh, my color guard will be bringing in staff and, and colors for that program. And, of course, Eagle Levi will also have a booth, as well as we will. Uh, be there as well to, to share with, uh, with the public and we invite everyone to come out. We want them to come and, uh, and, and sit with the veterans. As uh, Eagle has said, many of the presentations that we do, we present those flags to our families mm -hmm. and I think it's so, uh, uh, as many times as I come here and shared with you the loss of, of a loved one, uh, to be able to share that with a family and let them know that uh, they're not going to be forgotten and, and, and remember that uh, they took the time out, you know, to wear the uniform and, and serve their country. So it's, it's very, as Eagle said, we're very proud to be a part of this program and be a part of what we're doing. And it's, uh, it's wonderful to see so many come out and be a part of that, Rose. Wow. Now, I've seen your color guard at the powwows. Yes. Um, is that something that you're doing nationally or is that something you just started locally here? Well, we've been at it for almost a year and a half. Mm -hmm. we, we knew our, our powwows needed a uh, color guard to bring in our, our certainly our mm -hmm. staff first and then our flags. And so as we uh, came together, we said, well, why don't we guys, let's just be a color guard and do this to honor number one, the, the powwows and the veterans events and so it was we started we we just kept going and and now we be we even received uh, an award for uh, us being the color guards for our powwows and stuff through the friendship house out of san francisco mm -hmm. so we're very proud to have that and as many powwows as we've done uh, they're very proud to see that yeah our veterans are coming out they are carrying the flags and when we're there we want to invite them to also come out and carry a flag with us mm -hmm. so they don't have to be in a uniform if they're a veteran they want to carry a flag we do that we also for many of the powwows have not been familiar with the kia or the nakia we uh, also along with that present uh, the organization 
that puts on the powwow, we present mm -hmm. them also with the KI. So on their annuals, they can also fly mm -hmm. that flag. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So you started it in, in Arizona. So is this something that's also took off in Arizona or mainly California or? We do, do the Honor that? Guard in Arizona also oh, with the do. KIA. Uh -huh. And in May of this year, the Native American Killed in Action flag was presented to the Omaha Honor Guard, oh. the Zuni Honor Guard, oh. and the Comanche Tribe in Washington, D.C. Oh at the cemetery, the Arlington Cemetery. Yeah. They were presented with a flag when everyone was all together for the run of the wall ceremony. Mm -hmm. So our flag has become nationally known. We are not putting it on TV as for the first time and it's gonna stay native. This flag belongs to the native, it's gonna stay native as long as I have anything to say about it. It's not getting out of the hands. Walmart's not gonna have it. Good. <laughs> Sam's not going to have it, or anybody yeah, else. Uh -huh. It's going. This flag belongs to veterans, and it's going to stay in the hands of veterans. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. that's beautiful. Also, Rosa, as uh, we are also doing this, we are sending our flags back overseas to Afghanistan, and our troops are uh, combined with uh, what we're doing. They're they're jumping in. They're signing the flags. Uh, as Eagle said, they've signed the outside uh, uh, of the flags on the outer circle. And they are sending them back to us. So, you know, we, we are bringing them on, out to share with the public that, yes, even our troops are in support of this flag. So it's, uh, you know, again, they're serving now until they are actually out of the service. You know, mm -hmm. they're servicemen. But when they get out, they'll be veterans. Right. So we're very proud to see that we're getting the support from those in Afghanistan as well. It's wonderful. And before Afghanistan, it was in Iraq. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our flag is in Iraq, and we have photos of it with the entire squad's platoons in front of buildings. Our flag is flying and has wow. been flying. Right. And I, I believe job. it's a great honor to be part of this. One of the projects I'm working on right now is a bumper sticker mm -hmm. that says, every day should be Veterans Day. Veterans Day should not be clumped up in one day where we honor our soldiers that have fallen. It should be every day that we have the thought that we have people out there that are defending the way that we have chosen to live in our country. We it's take true care because of a lot so of many get in, be, are forgotten after they come yes, back. Yes, they are. They are and forgotten. just pushed aside. They don't mm -hmm. receive right. services they should be getting. I didn't even know a tribe that lives close to me. They lost seven Wallapai men. Wow. in the Vietnam War. They never talk about it. They don't answer to anybody. And when I brought the flag up to them, they just, oh. that flag flies in front of the administration building on the Wallapai Nation. Oh. Yes. It flies with the Hamas tribe, the Wallapai tribe, the Mojave tribe has it in their chambers. We are getting this flag out and we're saying this is your flag. Yes. Honor it. Fly it. Do not put this flag on a shelf. It rots after four days on a shelf. It needs to be flown. We put a chemical in it that will rot the flag. Yeah. <laughs> we'll know whether you feel yeah. it or not. There you go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Rose, even organizations that support our veterans, whether they service with them, if they're looking for jobs, and, and those organizations that do assist our veterans in any of that rehabilitation, we're asking them to. If they would like to, we would present a flag to your organization in support of that and they too can fly that flag or have that flag on display so our veterans can see that yes, you, your organization or any organization that wants to support that, that they at least see that flag and know that it's available. So, you oh, know, we wonderful. want you to know that as well, that we will present the flag to any organization that supports our veterans. Oh, that's wonderful. We have uh, Post 22, American Legion Post in Arizona, in Mojave County, mm -hmm. was the first post in Arizona to raise the KIA flag oh. on their grounds, the first one. The last flag that was presented in the last 24 hours was to a little gas station off of Five and Lost Hills oh. called the Baruch or Baro, a new little gas station. Some a family was in there, they own it. And they were so nice to us when they found out we were veterans and if we needed a place to park for the night, they said, stay here, stay here. Oh. I presented a flag to them, and they spent four hours that night hooking up pipes together 
to raise that flag oh. in the evening. It was 11 o'clock when they got the flag wow. raised. This is how some people are feeling towards our veterans. Oh. And I explained and what the killed in action was, and they loved it. Oh, and it's flying in you know, Lost Hills. You know, Igor, you just said Post 22. In Lodi, California, American Legion Post 22 has its first Native American commander. We also have presented that post, 22, with a KIA, NAKIA flag to fly. So as you see in the conversation alone, how many wow. are certainly embracing and opening their arms so that way we can help share America remembers our fallen heroes, Rose. Absolutely. And you asked me a question earlier about is this an organization, a chapter, or what? Uh, I had to put something together that formulated all of us. They gave each individual spirit warriors his own territory where mm. we would not infringe and be bothered by another spirit warrior. So they were bumping heads. So each spirit warrior has as much territory as he can manage mm -hmm. and pass the Native American and the KI flag out. So we have one in Northern California, that's Richard. This is his territory. He takes care of everything here. He doesn't have to ask me for anything. This is his up here. This is the patch that we received from Eagle as a spirit warrior. I'm one arrow, and my guys that are involved with it also have a patch. And so by wearing this patch, we know that truly we belong to an or not an organization, but a family of veterans. Who are we're a nation. A nation of no. veterans. And so and we're proudly the, wearing those things. Yeah. So when you see that out there at the powwow, you know that we are truly wow. the spirit warriors. How many states are you represented in? Every one of them. If I can find a native up there that'll take the flag and say, I'll do something with it, and I will find every warrior that, that has been killed in action, right. and I will present their family with a flag. Contact us. Right. If you see anyone wearing this patch, that means that they support our Native Americans oh, okay. that have been killed in action. Beautiful. Right. And, uh, well, how do you purchase patches and flags and so forth? How does your organization do this? Do you do fundraising? How do you? We have a website, uh -huh. www.kiawarriors.com. They can go and they can learn everything about our, our mm -hmm. nation, every uh, step that we have followed, all our events, our calendar events, things coming up quotes from other combat soldiers, stories about those that have been killed in action. We have a store where they can buy their flags, their patches, their license plates, uh, anything that they need, even this hat, the chimney hat, these can be purchased. And I've been questioned about these hats because we also ride a lot of motorcycles to get to our events. 80 miles an hour, these hats don't fly off your head. That must be something <laughs> good about it. That's right. right. Okay, give me that website again. That's important for people. www.kiawarriors.com. And our information is there how to contact us. And can people make donations on the site? Yes, they or? can. In okay. fact, right. our webmaster asked, if, uh, don't you think we should put a donation button on there so people can donate if they want to? I mean, you know, they might want to help you get flags to give away to other people. Right. And we welcome that all the time, wherever we go, to events programs or powwows, we, mm -hmm. we, we uh, you know, uh, let them know. And, and sometimes, they, most of the vets, they know, uh, we don't have to ask. Do we have that box out there? They put it in there, because they know that we are struggling to do these things, but that's okay. We're willing to do this, and I think it comes from the heart. Most of this comes from the heart. I and can my, see that. As, as most of us always say, we even where I come from, Rose, and my grandfather always said, if I spoke from my heart, my words become of iron, they're strong. So that's how I see that in our veterans. I see that very clear, that they, they truly believe that what we're doing. So we're excited and wanting to be out there as, as much as we can. So if, there, if there's someone watching the show and they're interested in participating, they should just go on the website, contact you. Is there a contact point on there? Yes. Yeah, our door is open. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's what I'm looking for is people with, with quality. I don't want quantity. Mm -hmm. Quantity doesn't mean anything to me. But the quality of an individual who says, "Yes, I represent Native Americans. I want to give them their honor and respect deserved." Mm -hmm. I want to talk to them. That's I want to great. make them part of us 
and show them what we do. Because I'm going to tell you, everybody's going to go on the whole helping and giving freely. It just it can't be helped. But if you can give it and go in the hole and you feel good in your heart, you're doing the right thing. That's right. Um, and we have about a minute left, so if you can give me some closing remarks. But I'd like to ask the other two gentlemen to come and stand on the oh, yeah. back oh, of the set back. here as we close welcome out the back. show. Welcome David so, Ramirez, uh, um, Catch him off guard here. <laughs> Barrett Warrior, Mark Trujillo, welcome back. Come on in, guys. And, and thank you guys for being here, too. We're being here, uh, Rose. We're, we want to thank you for having us and, you know, to contact in, uh, us. We are the San Juan King Native Vets Lodge, and we are the Spirit Warriors of the KIA. You can contact us as well through, uh, through the website. And, uh, you know, David, uh, as everyone knows, seeing David out there at the powwows and the vets program, so we're glad to have David, and certainly with Mike Trujillo as our newcomer. He's come on and, and uh, helped us out a lot, so we're very grateful for that. And so, like as Eagle said, sometimes it's a few that do more than uh, a quantity. So That's we're, right. we're grateful for that. So Eagle, you have anything? Thank you for coming all the way from Arizona to be on the show. Well, you know, it's an honor. And, you know, I'm, I'm really in awe of you that gave us this time to talk with the KIA. It's an important message that we need to get out there. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for joining us on Native Voice TV. We'll see you next week. Good uh -huh. night.